What is going on guys, Johnny here coming at you with another gaming video. Today we're going to be talking about the Rack 9 Lance versus the Rack 9 Smoothbore. So now, I didn't know that the Lance had actually been in the game for a minute now. Um, I was actually going through the Quartermaster Prototype Lab because I know that we got about 9 new variants uh, on Valentine's Day with the Valentine's Day update. Or like update 1 point, I don't even know, I might be completely off. But I saw this gun there and I was like, hey new gun! And I wasn't too interested. I typically don't like a lot of the legendaries. I use a lot of rares or the epics. But then I saw the legendary perk on this and I was like, dude, what? Okay, so it's called Throttle. So now if you played Black Ops 3 like I did and you love the shotguns like I did because of that choke mechanic they had, this brings that back, okay? So now pretty much whenever you're hip firing, you get that nice traditional shotgun spread. And that's nice and all, you know, uh, to get like multiple enemies or like whenever you're just playing super aggressive. However, in Black Ops 3, whenever you would aim down the sights, all the pellets would condense into a cluster, which gave you a little bit more range and more damage because you were guaranteed that more pellets were going to hit your target. This brings that back 100%, baby. <laughs> and now it is 2000 salvage and I was considering not buying it because that's kind of steep and as we all know there are new guns coming into the game uh, they were leaked and I'm actually gonna link that right down below so like you can so you guys can just go check that out um, however I do want to say that 2000 salvage is kind of steep it's really not when you compare this gun to the rack 9 smoothbore but before we get into that let's talk about this gun and why I like it oh so much First off, it brings back that Black Ops 3 feel, as I said at, at the beginning of the video, and I like that. I miss it. I really don't like that you can't aim down the sights and you don't get that choke mechanic with all shotguns. I really feel like that should be the standard moving forward from Black Ops 3, but unfortunately, that's not the way it is. However, there is good news. As we all know, all of the legendary weapons aren't um, exclusive in terms of their legendary perks. They're not exclusive to that one gun. They're not epics um, because one epic, there won't be another epic on a different gun with the same perk, if you know what I'm trying to say here. So that means that the throttle perk on here has the potential to go to the, um, oh crap, what are they called? Oh, oh to the Banshee, to the Decimate. And Lord forbid it goes to the Reaver because that's just breaching number two. That gun would be so broken. And I'm already bored of it because it's effortless to kill people. It's just insane. It needs a nerf. Uh, however, I'm, I am getting off topic. This gun, it's, it's amazing. That's all I got to say. Oh, and the secondary perk on this is called Sharpshooter. So we all knew that you get an extended damage range, uh, which is pretty legit. So now the way I run this gun is I run it with an ELO sight because I don't like the iron sights on the Rack 9 smoothbore. I just think they're garbage. Um, I run it with quick draw with rifle barrel because it does stack with that sharpshooter. And I run it with a suppressor because unlike Black Ops 3 where in Black Ops 3 running a suppressor with, with a shotgun gave you significant penalty to damage and range. So it was a double whammy. They just didn't want you running around with a suppressed shotgun. In this game, a suppressor only gives you a minus 5% damage range, so that's pretty good. It's almost not noticeable at all, and especially with this gun. So I stacked those two together, and dude, it's legit. I really enjoy it. Now, as far as perks go, I have to say that dexterity is a must, especially with the pump action shotguns, okay? It is a must because they reload too painfully slow. So as of right now, there's only two pump action shotguns. That is the Rack 9 and the Spaz 12 or the S Ravage for all you OGs out there. Um, and it's very painful because unlike the Brecci, unlike the Decimate or even the Banshee, they'll have a drum mag or like just a magazine that holds all the rounds. You take out the old mag, you put this one in and then you watch your round count go from 0 to 12 just like that super quick. Not with these. You need to... Uh, individually insert every single round and without dexterity that is painful I mean just look at this this is re reloading from 0 to 9 shots on the rack 9 without dexterity check it out so dexterity is gonna be your best friend by all means um, so I run it with Dexterity and Ghost because I like to stay off the map. Um, I also run it with Scavenger. I know a lot of people run either Cold-Blooded, 
hardline or attack resist however you're gonna see that I'm pretty confident in my skills as a Call of Duty player where you know um, I'll go on these streaks and uh, I'll run out of ammo and I don't like doing that and I don't want to run the Merc rig because I don't like it uh, it's not that it's bad it's just I prefer Phantom so that's why I am running Scavenger and I am running Dead Silence in instead of Gung Ho because once again I like to stay off the map and I like to sound hoard people uh, because one of the biggest advantages of having a headset is that sound hoard because you can't really hear them if you're playing on a TV with a sound bar or just the TV speakers they just don't work too hot so me I have a headset so like I like to sound hoard so that's why I run Dead Silence over Gung Ho any day really I don't have Gung Ho on any of my classes and if you choose, you can have a lethal, a tactical, or a secondary. Me personally, I have the Hailstorm Thunder for those longer range engagements where the shotgun just isn't going to work. Um, I don't think I use it. I might use it one time in this gameplay. I'm not too sure. I will find out soon enough. Um, but that is the way I run the Rack 9 Lance. This is the best class setup, period, for anybody. Uh, minus the Scavenger, you can switch that out if you choose. But this is the best class for you to just wreck people. And uh, that's, uh, there's really nothing else to say um, as far as class setup goes. Uh, I do want to talk about two more reasons why I really do enjoy this gun. I really do enjoy this gun because sometimes you're just a little bit too far away. So as we all know that the pellets do spread and then when you hit fire and you are further away, uh, the further you are, the more the pellets are gonna spread, the less pellets are actually gonna hit your target. So I like that I can aim down the sights and have them condense and I'm more likely to kill them in one shot at those uh, further distances. And this has a pretty impressive one shot kill range. Uh, I mean, check this out right here. This is the maximum range to kill somebody or like get a hit marker at least and that's pretty good. I mean this is a, the Rack 9 Lance stacked with rifled barrel and I'm not running suppressor. This is the maximum range for at least a hit marker but at this range I'm pretty sure it's going to be about two shots to kill. So that being said this gun I really like it. It's my new favorite. But let's compare it to its older brother, the, the Rack 9 Smoothbore. So now this gun, um, there's only one way to explain this gun for, for those of you who haven't used it or haven't had it used against you. Imagine that the Intervention and the Argus from Black Ops 3 had a child. I mean, that's the best way that I can describe it without really going into detail. But I'm going to go into detail. Okay, so now the epic perk on this gun is called Slug, so um, it, it sh so it fires a powerful single shot, you know, and it's a slug. There's there's nothing else to it. It's like the Argus. Whenever you would aim down the sights, it would turn into a slug. However, unlike the Argus, whenever you hit fire, it's still a slug. If if you guys did play Black Ops 3, then you know that the Argus had that nice shock and spread from the hip. But whenever you would aim down the sights. Um, it turned into a slug, and I gotta say that the Argus was my baby! Man, I love that gun so much. Um, it was cancerous. It got buff after buff after buff after buff. They never nerfed it once, and every single time it got a buff, it was to its damage range. So, <laughs> this is pretty ridiculous. But the Argus actually had a 17 meter one shot kill range, which was redonkulous. Uh, but the smoothbore kind of is better, but it's also kind of not. Let me explain what I mean. So, with the smoothbore, the maximum range to hit him anywhere in the body and still get a one-shot kill is 15 meters. So it's not quite the 17 that the Argus had, but 15 is still pretty considerable. Uh, that is, however, if you hit him from the waist up and in the head, if you shoot him in the legs, it's going to be two shots to kill um, and, you know, blah, 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 whatever. However, from the 15 meter range and extended, a one shot kill to the head at all ranges on any map, crusher and terminal included, is a one shot kill. Okay, you can snipe them from across the map so long as you land a headshot and it's always going to be a one shot kill and that is ridiculous especially for a shotgun. Even suppressed that's not going to harm your damage range as long as you're shooting them in the head there's no problem uh, which is pretty ridiculous however I'm not complaining because like I said you can't just hit fire this gun because look at the hip fire spread on this guy. 
it's intense and it goes everywhere in this area um it's not contained anywhere um it might go straight to the right straight to the left up down it's unpredictable so that being said this is a aim down the sights all the time gun uh, so now let's talk about the best class setup for this it's easy elo sight because once again the iron sights on the rack nine they're trash they're just the garbage um so elo sight quick draw and suppressor don't run long barrel on this or uh rifled barrel as it's called in this game because that's not going to do uh, much for you this already has a limited damage range to the head and even to the torso you know it'll just be a two-shot kill so elo quick draw and suppressor are are going to help you out a ton um and once again dexterity ghost uh scavenger and dead silence you're definitely not gonna run gung-ho on this so say what you want it's not gonna help you at all okay you're just gonna miss your shots from the hip um you're probably already gonna miss them from aiming down the sides as it is because this gun is way too inconsistent with the rack 9 lance um you didn't have to be directly on them because it's not like the pellets turn into a slug they're just a little more condensed so that means that you could be just a little bit off but as long as half the pellets or more are like our landing at a you know closer range uh, you're guaranteed to kill them not with the smooth bore you have to be directly on them on the torso or the head that's the best way to guarantee yourself a one-shot kill up to 15 meters and that's kind of annoying because you might just uh, pop off real quick and then you'll end up hitting them in the arm and the reason why I compare this to the intervention when I said that the intervention and the Argus had a kid is because that uh, fire rate it's slow i mean come on man you're not gonna tell me that the rack nine like it's a fast gun no it's not the banshee shoots faster i feel like so like that's why i'm saying that this gun is always like best used with a suppressor and a um elo sight because you're not gonna want to be right in their face okay you're gonna want to keep your distance a little bit and you will have to align your shot if you are staring them like uh straight on uh that being said it's it's a good gun it's not terrible it's not great it's good okay it's more than okay it's good um it's better than uh most of the other shotguns as far as um you know how fun it is because like i said variety is key to keeping a game alive um and so then this gun it just it offers a completely different experience so i use it from time to time but as of right now the rack nine lance that's my gun of choice as far as shotguns go I put the reaver aside and I'm using this because it really brings back that Black Ops 3 shotgun feel which I really like especially that choke mechanic there's no beating in it. So with the final verdict I gotta say go for the Rack 9 Lance. I mean it's cheaper at 2000 salvage as opposed to 4. It's consistent. You can run it uh, hip fire. I mean, I mean you can hit fire dude. A shotgun, in, in, like in my opinion, it's useless if you can't hit fire. So that's why I'm saying that the Rack 9 Lance is the better shotgun as far as Rack 9 goes. Um, and I like to think that I'm speaking for the average Joe here because I'm just a very casual player who happens to do very okay sometimes. Uh, sometimes I'll go like 30 and 19. Um, that's still not a 2KD, but I consider that pretty good. Um, I'll go on 40 streaks every now and then, but likewise, sometimes I'll go like 3 and 20. Uh, and that's just unfortunately what it is. So, with that in mind, I am saying that the Rack 9 Lance is the better gun. Uh, however, you guys are free to spend your salvage the way you like. I'm just trying to help you out here and make better decisions and maybe save up a little bit because there are new guns coming into the game. So if you really want a shotgun, it's not going to happen this DLC gun drop because there are no shotguns. Um, oh yeah, and if you guys don't know, we are getting two new guns. Uh, it hasn't been confirmed, but it's a very legitimate leak. Uh, it's called the Maverick, and the other one, it looks a little weird. I'm not going to put them on the screen or in the thumbnail. I'm just going to link them down below so you guys can go check them out. I know I'm a very small channel, but still, you can get a copyright strike for that. Activision just loves to do that. So just go check it out in the link down below. So that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope I helped you guys make a smarter choice. Uh, can we get to five likes, please? Oh, but before we continue... I want to explain why my first three videos have 2,000 views because I was accused of botting and that's simply not true. Whenever you upload a video, for those of you who have uploaded videos, you'll see that you have the option to promote your video with Google AdWords. So that's their 
advertisement so pretty much I pay them about $20 and they can guarantee me at least 1500 views and um, from there you know that's how it goes I mean I paid Google to put my videos in the recommended section of people's list and I realize that's probably not the way to go because it's expensive I don't have $20 to give them every video and uh, it just looks weird because what if I upload a video like I have been lately without giving them the money for the um, ads? It's just going to look weird. So I decided to stop doing that, you know, because uh, I, I, I got accused of botting and that's not what's going on at all. I just wanted to clear it out real quick. But back to the video or back to the outro, I should say. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Can we get to five likes? That would be greatly appreciated. Um, dude, a like, I mean, a comment and a sub always greatly appreciated. And I'm thinking that I kind of want to make this like a regular series, you know, talk about a gun and then it's two predominant var variants and then talk about which one's better. Um, I do want to talk about the R3K because despite what people say, the Wrecked, don't get me wrong, it's a really good gun. However, it's not the best R3K. Um, the Wrecked is a better gun, but that's a <laughs> but it is a better gun than than a completely different gun overall uh, I'm not talking about the variants it's just a better gun than the Volk so that's why it was on my list of the best variants to use however um, if you hit that like button I'll know that like this is what you want to see next time I'll be sure to add stats and be a little more in depth about it this is just a quick video I wanted to get out there because I'm a little backed up in real life you know gets in the way of me uploading videos um, I do have a job so that's why I do want to be consistent with this though, so just let me know what you guys think in the comments down below, and I hope you guys have a great day.